Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is how to pass parameters from TestNG XML file to test methods. Let me answer. In order to pass the parameters from TestNG XML file to test methods, okay, we have to go to that TestNG XML file either at the suite tag level or at the test tag level, we have to write this line. That is parameter tag line, okay? So this way we have to write. So let me practically show you how to do this. I will switch to this Eclipse ID where we have the sample testng project having this testng XML file. If I open the testng.xml file, there is a sweet tag. Okay. This is a sweet tag. And under the sweet tag, we have the three test tags. Okay. Test one, test two, test three. Three test tags are there. In each and every test tag, we have a class mentioned. Okay. Intentionally, I created the testng XML file like this. So there are two ways. If I would like to specify this line at the sweet tag level, okay? If I specify this, for example, if I specify this uh, parameter tag, parameter tag, and here in the parameter, I have to give the name and value, okay? Name and value. Name is, for example, name is URL. Value is equal to, value is equal to, you can give some URL or you can give something like this, name is equal to first name, okay? For example, only, right? So we can give anything like this okay like this you create now this parameter is getting passed from the testng.xml file to all the tests because this is defined at the suite tag level okay it's not inside any test tag right so this can be accessed by accessed by the test methods which belong to any of these test tags okay either class one tests class two tests class three tests all the things can access because this is defined at the suite tag level so if I go to any of this is class one, class two, class three, anything you can go. For example, if I go to class three and uh, here in class three, I would like to access this value. Okay. I would like to get this uh, parameter value. Okay. So if I pass this first name, it, it, we should get the Arun as a value. Okay. How to get that? I'll show you. So here we have to write something like this. Okay. In the test methods, we have to write. Okay, so above at the rate test provide an annotation say at the rate parameters. Okay, here you have to provide at the rate parameters. Wherever you want to get the parameters uh, from this uh, testng XML file, write this annotation at the rate parameters. And uh, in the parameters, provide circular brackets and in double quotes, give, specify that parameter. Okay, parameter. What is the name of the parameter that I am passing from this uh, testng XML file from C tag level? Parameter name is first name, right? First name. Write down that first name here. Go here and write down the first name. Pour the mouse on the parameters and uh, import it. One minute. Pour the mouse on this and import these parameters from test engine annotations. Okay. Done. That part is done. Now, this parameter here you can create a parameter to receive this value of this particular first name from the test engine XML file. So, here string f name. Okay. I'm just giving you can give any name here. This, this should not be matching. It's not compulsory that this and this should be matching. It can be different. This value will come here somehow. And uh, you, uh, here, I would like to print it out, okay? I'll simply say plus F name, okay? Done. Now save this. Now go to the testng XML file and run it. Run this testng.xml file. This value, that is Arun will go and, uh, okay? Will be passed to that particular test method. and will be printed in the output. You see, it got printed in the output also. If you go to the console here, C3 test1 executed colon Arun. Okay. That means we are able to pass the parameters from the testng.xml file into one of the test method inside one of the class. Okay. Now, what I will do here is, now, what I will do here is, uh, I will not uh, define this uh, parameter tag at the suite tag level. Rather, I will define it inside the first test. That is test one inside at the test tag level I create. That means this parameter can only be received by the, okay? This parameter can only be passed to the test methods which belong to this particular test. You see in that only class one is there. In this particular test, only class one is specified. Only in the methods of the class one, only in the test methods of the class one, only in the test methods of this class one which belong to that particular test, test one, okay? Any of these three methods, uh, you can receive the parameter, okay? But, if I try to access this uh, parameter in class three in the same way, which I have already done here, this is not going to work. The value is not going to be passed to this class three. Let's see that. 
because earlier the parameter tag was mentioned at the sweet tag level, but now it's part of only one test. So the scope is only this part. The, the scope of this parameter, receiving the parameter or passing the parameters up to this test method, but not the other test methods. Okay, earlier it was at the sweet tag level. So every test can access it. Test methods inside every test can access, but only the test methods inside this particular test can access now. So this is not going to work now. Okay. But and this in the test three, I'm trying to access. Uh, let's see what's going to happen. Just go to the console and see. It's not got uh, printed, right? Uh, what happened? You see, one of the tests got failed. One of the tests got failed. You see, it was not able to receive the parameter. Somehow it got failed. You see, the uh, uh, which one got failed? Yeah, this one. This is the one which got failed. Okay, C three test one. Parameter first name is required by at the rate on uh, on uh, C three test one, but has not been marked at the rate optional or defined. Okay, that's what is happening. So here, because the scope of this parameter is specified at the test tag level, only the test methods which belong to this uh, test tag can access this. But we are trying to access in one of the one of the test method which belong to the test. Okay. So if I put this, if I do this, if I remove this and you know put this inside this particular test tag we are trying to access, then it will be working. Okay. This time it will be working fine because it, we are passing the parameter to class three, which is part of the test three. Okay. Since the uh, scope is up to the test and it's accessible. Now it will be working fine. You see, this is what worked fine now. C3 test one executed. Okay. So, oh guys, you understood uh, how to pass parameters from test and XML file to test methods, either from uh, either by specifying this particular parameter tag at the sweet tag level or at the test tag level. And also in the test methods, we have to use this annotation known as the rate parameters. And there's one more thing is if you want to pass multiple parameters, okay, to a test method, if you want to pass multiple parameters like this, how to pass, I'll show you. So here a parameter, only one parameter is there. I'll create one more parameter. I can pass multiple parameters like this, okay? I'll simply say last name here, last name. And here I'll give my last name, okay? Now I would like to pass these two parameters. So I'll go to this uh, class three, where we have created the rate parameters. Now, since we have, uh, two parameters to be passed, right? So you see, you have to write like this, okay? Inside this, you put circular uh, curly braces. Inside the curly braces, you put multiple values. You want to receive as the parameters, okay? Last name and the curly brace. And here you can create multiple parameters, L name. So I'll say plus space plus L name, okay? That's it, it should work fine. Let's run this. So right click run as, let's change switch. It should be working. This time we are passing two multiple parameters from the test and XML file to one of the test method. Okay. You see, two parameters got passed, Arun and Motori. First name, last name. Okay. Everything is working fine. So, hope guys, you understood how to pass the parameters from test and XML file to test method from suit level, test level. Okay. So, single parameter, multiple parameter, and all those stuff. So, that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye bye.